two, one, and you're alive. All right, gang. Good luck. Thank you so much. This is Bug Snacks. My name is Conception Two. Uh, we're gonna be running the any percent category. I'm running on PS5. Uh, it's a little different than PC. A uh, little bit, uh, just a tad bit slower because we can't scroll through text as fast and ha have as accurate, you know, cursor and everything like that. But we're gonna get started. So I'm gonna do a new game here, and then the timer starts as soon as we load up. So I'll try to give you a uh, a good indicator as when time starts. So get ready on that. and go all right here we are yeah so this is bug snacks um if you're unfamiliar uh it's a game developed by young horses very cool uh lots of cute uh bug snacks which are exactly as they sound they are bugs they are snacks um so they are bugs that look like food and they are mostly adorable um we're playing the any percent category which is really really fast uh we break the game pretty much wide open right from the beginning so we have an opening cutscene here that we're gonna skip right by by jumping on these rocks and parkouring on treetops, and there's an invisible barrier here. We're gonna walk right on, on over here, hop on some more treetops, and that skips an opening cutscene as well as quite a number of things. Next thing we gotta do is to get out of this area early. Uh, so we're gonna jump into the load zone as early as we can. So we're gonna scale up some of uh, the geometry here on the side, up these rocks, and voila. We have skipped the intro and we have skipped a whole bunch of stuff. All right, so now we're gonna grab this trap. Now, uh, Guard Grove is the second area uh, that we're in. So uh, this, unfortunately, we can't get into a load zone early here. So we actually have to do it more or less as intended. Um, so we are going to catch four bug snacks here. We're gonna catch two shishka bugs, a fryder, and a bunger. Um, which we see here, the fan favorite bunger, of course. Um, hopefully we can do this really fast. Uh, there's like a, the most fast optimal way to do it, but you know, you have to get the UI to, uh, participate as much as you want. So we're at first, we're gonna complete this quest where the bunger goes into his cage, grab some extra ketchup here, sling one on that treetop, sling one at that shishka bug, go talk to Whamus to clear that quest. Then we're gonna jump over the fence here, shoot a ketchup at the ground. That might be a little too far back, though. A bunger just uh, got that back at us. We're gonna wait here for this fryer, and then as it's heading back, we're gonna throw a trap. Didn't quite reach it. That's fine. That's why we get a backup catch up here. Now we got the fryer. So uh, we got days bungers here. Let's see if we can get it fast. All right, we got it. I was worried they were gonna come right back, but they didn't. And then lastly, this last shishka bug, which is kind of a problem. Yep, it was, but that's fine. We have a backup for that. So ideally, we could get that shishka bug really quick. Um, we weren't able to do that, but we're gonna turn in the fryer quest first. Now we have the shishka bug quest, and when we start that shishka bug quest up, um, the this shishka bug spawns back in, so we're able to get it this way. There we go. So there we go. Now we got our second, second shishka bug. Much slower. Waits about 10 seconds to have to do it that way. But, you know, that's marathon luck for you. Turn the shishka bugs. And then last but not least is the bunger, which are meant to capture with a net that Wambus gives us right there. However, if you are able to stun it early, then you can just catch it with your trap, which is exactly what we did. When we shot the uh, top of the tree with ketchup, we attracted the bungers over there and they started charging at each other. And then once they run into each other, they're both stunned. We catch them with their trap. Easy as that. All right, so now we head over here. We're actually going to jump by our friend Philbo here so we can get ahead of him a little bit. Grab this journal before the cutscene proceeds. That way we don't have to watch the cutscene, then walk, and then come back, waste some time. So... And this is like a little tutorial section, basically. So we have to like go through our journal and like go, you know, look through all of the options of it. Uh, this is one part that's particularly faster on PC because you can lock scrolling to your mouse wheel, which is a lot faster than me having to press X on my PlayStation 5 controller. So that's one spot that we save a good chunk of time. But there we are. We're through. Not a particularly good garden grove, but there's a marathon look for you. Well, Alright, so this is Snacksburg, which is like the main hub area of, of the game. And what the game intends you to do from this point is go to different areas that are attached to Snacksburg, rescue different... Well, not rescue. Bring different Grumpuses back uh, to this mainland 
um, so that you can, you know, reunite everyone in the town. Uh, we're not going to do that, and in fact, we're going to skip the vast majority of the game by getting into basically the last area as early as possible. First, we got to interview our friend Philbo here. Get by so we can progress the story. There was a I couldn't. Lisbeth, nobody. You can cat once through. You should. All right. Anyway, I'll be all right. So first things first, we have to get into uh, Sugar Pine Woods early, which we're going to do by scaling some rooftops here. Just like this, we're going to jump across the roofs and then jump across the bridge without it being there. And then hop up here. Oops. Hop up. Nope. Hop up. Nope. Hop up. There we go. Nope. Never mind. Hop. Come on, game. Hop up. There we go. There we go. Now we're in the woods early. Now, when right from the woods, we actually have to get into the that frosted peak, which is that mountain in the distance there. We got to get into that early, so we got to scale some more geometry here. And we're going to do that by going over here, hopping up. Oop, not quite. Got caught by the barrier there. There we go and then fall down here, which loads us into Frosted Peak. And now Frosted Peak is like the last area you can unlock in the game. So the game gets a little confused here because we're not meant to be here already. And uh, what it does is that it gives us all of the tools that we have to unlock throughout the game um, at our disposal. So now we don't have just the snack trap and the sauce slinger. We have everything. So for example, we're about to use the lunch pad here, which is kind of a launch pad, if you will. I'm going to throw that up here and throw that here so we can uh, clip into this door with relative ease throw that trip wire and then clip through the door like that easy as pie so now basically what the game is is uh, we're actually like at the end game sequence so the game has what I kind of like to call like a, a doomsday sequence for lack of a better term we're basically at the end already um, there, there isn't anything that we know about that we can do to expedite this process. Now, the devs on uh, various points here have kind of hinted to us that once we get into this final area of this area called the under snacks, that there is a way to clip through the floor, which has an in which the once we are able to clip through the floor, the entirety underneath is a load a loading zone. So if we're able to clip through the floor early, we'd be able to skip a significant cutscene. But none of us have been able to figure it out yet, so we're still trying to figure that out. Uh, for the meantime, we have to go through the cutscene here. Um, so we're gonna jump here, and then this is the floor area. If we find it, figure out a way to clip through this floor, it's a uh, it's an entire loading zone underneath. But for now, we have a nice long cutscene. If you haven't played Bug Snacks, by the way, I suggest you do so. I'm not going to spoil exactly what's going on here, so you can, you know, still be interested in playing it on your own, which I highly suggest. But, um, definitely play that. But basically, what is happening here right after this is we're going to be flung into what we call the Gauntlet. Uh, which is the end game sequence where we have to fend off some bug snacks on the island as we escape. Um, which is about half of the run, so that gauntlet takes like eight, eight between Wait, eight and nine minutes, uh, roughly. Um, and then obviously the, the estimate is 20 minutes, so it's about half the run uh, just spent in the gauntlet. But uh, it's, a, it's a pretty entertaining ride once we get there. Um, one interesting fact here, so this is Agabel, yeah. the one that's shaped like an egg, no! naturally. Um, and because we haven't talked to Agabel in the game because we glitched through everything, what we're going to do when we're able is we're actually not going to only mash X to get past the text, we're also going to mash square, which is the button that you use to interact with things. And because we haven't talked to Agabel, it, it, it begins her dialogue from the first time we talk to her, and then for whatever reason, that causes the... Um, the loading zone to trigger like two seconds early and we're not exactly sure why that happens but it happens so we we do that in longer categories where we would already have talked to Agabel, it doesn't work that way it can actually crash her game because the game doesn't know what else to do um but here we are we're heading into the gauntlet first we got to get to like the snacksburg which is where it takes place so we're going to try to do some buttery smooth parkour here the there we go across the treetops excellent Saves about a second over falling to the ground and then running up the bridge instead. So we like to uh, we like to do things fast here. 
And then here's Snacksburg, which is basically, you know, like I said, doomsday. There's an exploding volcano in the distance. The bug snacks are attacking. Oops. Everything's going wrong. There they are. All is great. And what the gauntlet exactly is, it's five mini games, for lack of a better term. Um, basically, we're using a, a bunch of tools that we have unlocked through the game, but we're using them for a different purpose. For example, Snorpy here is going to give us back our snack trap, but it's not no longer a trap. It's more of like a slap chop. It's got some blades on it. So instead of trapping bug snacks, it uh, it squashes them, uh, which is good because for, to, you know, Bugs, the bug snacks are not good at this point. I won't. I won't really go into it further. But they're, they're not good. They're still very cute, but they're not. They're not good, unfortunately. All right, put that there. Yeah. That, yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure if that got squashed. There we go. There we go. All right. So that's the first one. We got to slap them up. So this is uh, this next tool. What is, is what is called the snack grappler. So what we use it in the game for is to grapple things from a distance. However, Floofty here has put a uh, uh, like a boxing glove on the end of it. So instead of grappling, we're going to be punching things with it like this. Oops. There you, go. you can get those in one string if you're good. Come on. Come on. There we go. So now that makes the, those spawn a little early, and basically we're going to try and hit them as close to uh, them as possible. That that way we can trigger the transition to the next area fast, which that was actually pretty That's good. Enough. We had a little bit of a delay, um, but that was that was pretty good. Uh, this third game with Chanlo and Snorpy, unfortunately, is the least exciting of all of them, which is basically just using our trip wire as things cascade down the mountain here and, and tripping them up. Um, there's actually nothing we can do to really screw this up, even if for some reason I missed uh, shooting off the wire like that. They spawn on a cycle, so the only t way I could lose time here is if I missed one of the last two cycles, but there's like nine of them, so um, it's not like it's... There's really not much I can do to, to lose time here, it's the easiest by far. But towards the end of it, we're going to do something that will try to get us uh, towards the next game a little bit faster if we can. Relocating. So we got this is the fifth cycle, six. Is, oh, I said nine. It's actually seven, but still. You got this, bro. So if I had missed that one or this one coming up, then it would slow me down a little bit. But there are also it's also just really simple. It's point and click. So. So we're going to point and click. And while those ones are going off, that's my dog in the background wanting to be on there. Uh, we're going to try and wedge ourselves in some geometry here, which I successfully did. And that puts me that much closer to this next segment, which is called barrels. Uh, barrels, we're going to be shooting barrels over uh, towards bug snacks here. It's actually the most difficult of them to do quickly. So I'm going to focus a little bit here. So there's th uh, three waves of cheap hoofs, three waves of grape mosquitoes, and then a mixture wave. Okay, so going well so far. Thanks, Java. That's my pug. Thank you so much. Only, only a 20-minute run. Couldn't keep from barking. You love that. Okay, so that happens sometimes, uh, where for whatever reason, the um, the middle cheap poof on that wave will uh, get caught in the uh, leftover barrel residue, for lack of a better term, and then you have to kind of adjust there. But I adjusted really well to the point where I didn't lose any time at all. So that's actually the, pretty much the fastest that barrels could go. Um, we did lose a little bit of time. I was, I should say, maybe like one second because we do have to wait for the edge cheap poofs there to drift towards each other so I can get them in one barrel. But that's basically as fast as I could have hoped for. And it wasn't really in my control as to whether that was going to work or not. Um, next thing here, we have a spiky ball with a laser pointer. Pretty simple. We're just going to roll the ball into bug snacks. Now, luckily, these spawn cycles are the same every time. Ooh, I missed one. I'll wait there and get it. There we go. Um, so I know I know where they're coming out from, so I can kind of anticipate their movements. 
Um, usually in that in that cycle of four, I just get them all in one line, but I missed one. There we go. Then we're gonna do the edges. Two groups of the edges, actually. And there's gonna be ones that spawn without coming out of the ground, just willy nilly like that. The more that come out of the ground. Ooh, that one splatted in my face. Easy. This is the last two right here, actually. Alright, besides missing that one, that one wave, that was actually pretty clean. Alright, and then this is the last of the mini games here, uh, which is we're going to be flinging some sauce, but this is a special sauce. And basically, what we're going to want to do is put the sauce in locations that will make it so that the bungers will run at each other and kind of, you know, explode each other, for lack of a better term. So it's all about placement sauce, of the sauce. Um, oh, luckily, similar as, as to any of these, the spawn cycles are the same every time, so I can memorize where the bugs, snacks, are going to be coming out from. Um, so I know, for example, they're going to come from here, just shoot one in the middle, as fast as we can do. Same kind of deal, a little closer. While they're getting set up, I'm actually going to shoot one there and here, because that's where they're coming out from next. And then I'm going to shoot another one here, because same deal. Here, here, and here. And the same three. Pretty much as fast as I could go as well. This is actually a pretty good gauntlet. The only thing that got a little bit messed up was the uh, the first one with Philbo, which is usually the easiest one. So, all right, and then all we do is hop over the fence here. Okay. Get over to the ship. Get on board now! You can actually lose a second or two here for, if you're misaligned with the uh, the ramp that leads up to the ship. Uh, your character will get stuck on the edge of the ship and not loading in. Eventually, after like a second or two, the game will be will just pop you onto the ship instead. But um, you can actually lose a little bit of time there, yeah. Um, so we're actually very close to the end of the run already. Um, the last thing we ju we just have to uh, traverse the beach and uh, get to the end cutscene. We're, we're already almost there. Our bug snacks journey is already almost done. Can't believe it. Yeah, that was a really good gauntlet. That was actually only like 0.2 seconds off of my gold. So that was really good. All right, so here's the beach. We just have to get over to Philbo in the distance there. Hop Befica here, cause that's fun. Hey, buddy. All right. I, I know. It's... I can't... I can help. Great. All right. And then we just have the last cutscene and time is coming up. I have... Tracking down... I call... <laughs> point it... <laughs> um... Don't worry. You're fine. This... Oh, Smash through oh. this text. And... So I could... Time. And there it is. That's bug snacks for you. Roll credits. Um, yeah, thanks for having me. I uh, thank you for you know the no glitches allowed team for having me on this run. Thank you for all all the members of staff that are behind the scenes making everything work. I appreciate it. If you're interested in running bug snacks? Um, we have a uh, subreddit r slash bug snacks speedrunning. We also if you go to speedrun.com slash bug snacks, you can join our Discord there. Really friendly group, really willing to help you out. And there's you know play testing and everything going on to try and get these runs even faster. So if you're interested in playing it, you know via console like I am or PC. Uh, we have resources for you, so come on by. Um, and then if you like Bug Snacks, I stream it a ton. Um, or if you like other speed runs as well, like I do Pokemon or uh, other point and click adventure games and things like that, come on by twitch.tv slash conception2, and I'll be glad to have you. Um, but other than that, we are all set here, so thank you for watching. <laughs>